Right, so you've mastered the cast net from the bank. You can catch bait, no dramas whatsoever. You've been out on a trip a couple of times with a mate who can drive your boat. But what do you do when no one's there to drive your boat? Hey guys, Josh here from Brisbane's Fishing with your dosage of fishing goodness. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice a couple of different techniques on how to throw a cast net out of the boat when you're by yourself. I'm gonna walk you through two of the techniques that I use. Uh, first technique is the charge technique, which is a little bit harder, a little bit trickier to try and teach. So I'll do the best I can uh, to demonstrate that to you guys. But it is pretty productive, pretty successful here in the Brisbane River when you're trying to target those larger sea mullet. Now these larger sea mullet, they quite often sit on the bottom. You won't even know they're there until you're over the top of them and you spook them. So when you approach, when you approach a bank slowly, sometimes you're too slow and you'll end up spooking them. Now, it is easier, a hell of a lot easier with two people, I'm not gonna lie. So if there are any other techniques, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. Uh, the second technique, uh, that was first technique. Second technique is going to be the drift technique. Now, all we're gonna do is we'll set the boat up in a good area where we found or seen a little bit of bait. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let the boat drift downstream. And as it drifts downstream, we're gonna have a couple of casts along the bank and you pick up bait that way. It's a little bit slower method. It's still successful though, like quite often you'll end up drifting over the top of the mullet. The mullet won't even know you're there. And when you throw the net, that's when they'll spook and it's too late for them, you've already caught them. So I'll walk you through that technique a little bit later. Let's get into the charge technique first. And remember guys, if you've got any better techniques or if you have any suggestions, drop it down in the comment section below and I'll answer it as best I can. All right. All right guys, so the first technique we're gonna go through is the charge technique. Now, this technique works pretty good if say you are trying to ambush mullet, stuff like that. It's a little bit cleaner water uh, than obviously what it is in the background. The uh, Brisbane River, she's a little bit murky, so we don't normally have too much of an issue, but it is still it is still a good technique if you wanna try and sneak up on those bigger mullet. Uh, first off, we're just gonna try and get some smaller baits first. I'll just show you how we go through and do that. So see if we can pull up to a spot. I'll also walk you through basically the locations that these bait are gonna be hanging around. So anywhere you've got an inlet, a gutter, a drain, small creeks like this where there's uh, a lot less current flowing through. Uh, at the moment, time of the moon phase is, uh, I think it's probably full moon even. So you've got your spring tides and your spring tides are gonna have a lot more current, you bait fish, aren't necessarily gonna use their current unless they're trying to travel. So they're gonna try and avoid it. But basically what we're doing is we're just poking up this little creek here. We're just gonna see if we can find a little gutter or something just off to the side. Just nose up, this little gutter or a drain. We're just gonna putt up to it. And all we're doing is we're letting that current hold us from getting in too close. So we can just do that. All right, so quick little touch into reverse. Just to pull us away. Now obviously you don't want your net getting too much in the way, so. Right. All right, so, just like that guys, Heap of mullet, heap of potties, all that sort of stuff. All right guys, now if you were coming up here for the day, like these are perfect size live bait, bony brim, potty mullet, all of that sort of stuff. Ideal size. It just goes to show you that as long as you can pick your locations pretty well, it's not too hard to throw a cast net from the boat by yourself. A little bit of technique involved. Not too hard, and the results are pretty good. And I mean, if you don't like taking your mate out on the boat, you don't need to. 
All right, let's go on, let's move on. on. But what we're doing is we're approaching a gutter or a drain, just a little creek drain. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out wide of it, keep our distance so that we're not spooking the bait too much. And then what we'll do is we'll just charge in straight at the mouth. Now, this isn't too bad. You shouldn't have to actually redirect or reverse too much. We should be able to pull up on the bank pretty well. So we just let the boat do the action. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna launch it straight into the mouth here. And we're more than likely gonna have another go at that because I suck. No, we did get something. We did get a mullet. All right, so. All right, so we did get a mullet there. This guy's only little. We're just gonna throw him back. Very scrawny looking sea mullet. Very scrawny looking sea mullet. They gotta be 30 centimeters long, so we're not gonna keep him today. And then we also managed to potty mullet in the top of the net. All right guys, so what we're doing now is we're just doing a drift technique. So all I've done is I've positioned the boat so that we're uh, against the current. The wind is pretty well non-existent in this spot. So we don't have too much of an issue there. And all we're doing is we're just drifting with the current downstream across a shallow section of river. Um, obviously if you're a bit inexperienced on what river system you're in and stuff like that, uh, it can be a little bit hit and miss, but at the same time, you should be able to judge by which side the actual river bend is and stuff like that. The outer bend will generally have less current, therefore it'll bank up more with sediment, as opposed to your cut through on the inside of the bank. Now that's not true for everything, that's not to say that you're not going to get a deep section of waterway, but it's a good gauge, it's a good way of being able to tell. So, we've just been drifting for a little while now. Feel free to have like a few casts, however many you think you need. Um, it's always hard to tell, like mullet in the Brisbane River, they're quite often sit on the bottom and you won't know until you're actually over the top of them. So we're just gonna have a quick cast here just to see. Nice, well open cast. More often than not, your boat will just drift over the top of it. You just let it pass through out the other side. And then all you're doing is you're just losing the current. You're letting your boat drag the net downstream to tighten it up. Now, this throw here, we've caught a couple of prawns. There's a mullet just then. It's that time of year where you're going to get a few more prawns than what you normally would say in the warmer months of the year. Not a bad thing. Everything eats prawn. And the quality of prawns start to get much bigger. So like, that's pretty substantial looking banana prawn. Oh, we're after. Another good couple of prawns. Well, that's not too bad at all. <laughs> and fourth prawn right there, so. Get this net set up again. Now, obviously, in this sort of circumstance, there's no rush. You're just drifting over the area, so. The fish basically are going to come to you, they're going to pass by you, all of that, and you're not going to have too much of an issue. So, we'll just line up for another throw. Same thing again. 
Now this time, you pretty well let the net push up against the boat to close it. I could tell that there wasn't any mullet in there anyway, so I wasn't too worried. Oh, a fair few prawn in there. Now, I'm not specifically targeting prawn today or anything like that, but as you can see there, there is a good handful of prawn, all that perfect bait size. All right. So, fairly confident, yep, we've got something decent in here now, if it's still in here, right, so we've nailed, this, nailed the mullet doing this technique, just tire him out. There you have it guys. <laughs> Alright, so the drift works pretty well. You're basically just waiting. Whoop. So you stop moving. Steady on, big guy. Right, so, good size, little mullet there. He's on that 30 centimetre mark, so perfectly fine for keeping. Yeah, so that's all we're doing, is you're just drifting along. You shut your motor down, you drift along, and... Just like that, you too can drop a mullet in the boat. There you go. I've never released a mullet before. That's basically the two techniques, guys. Real simple, not a lot to it. So, I mean, at the same time, you do, obviously, you are gonna need a boat license. You are gonna need to be able to drive a boat and throw a cast net. There's a few other factors, of course, that go into it. But basically, guys, that's how you throw a cast net from the boat and how you catch a mullet. That's how you would use your um, some bait buster over there. 